Okay, so welcome. Now we're going to look at uh, another example. I'm going to go through this one a little bit quicker. Um, so yeah, I'll just jump straight into it. So here, all these green bits here, we have a wooden roof, and then they're asking us to find the length of wood needed to build this wooden roof. So basically, they want us to find the length of every single little piece and add them all together. Okay, so this may seem like quite a kind of hard problem at first because there's loads going on, but if we break it up, like we've been talking about, it shouldn't be too bad. So I'm going to start by labeling everything. So I'm going to say that's A, that's B, that's C. I'm going to say this is D, this is E, this is F, this is G, and this is H. It doesn't really matter where you choose. Okay, so they're all the different points. So that's going to allow us to break it up into smaller triangles easier. And um, we can also say that this is right angled. Because again, it's a man-made roof, it's coming straight down. Uh, so yeah, we can say that's right angled. And also we see that it splits this in half. So it must be a perpendicular bisector uh, of an isosceles triangle. But anyway, more, more importantly, because it's a man-made structure, we can presume that it's um, perpendicular, okay? So how are we gonna go about this? Uh, we have to find the length of the wood needed. So I'm actually just gonna mark everything that we need to find. So we need to find everything with a circle around it like that. And that'll just help us focus on which exactly we're going to try and do. So I'm actually going to try and do this one first, this little triangle, BEF. So I'll scribble that down here. We're going to have our triangle, BEF. And I'm going to draw it out. Here we go. So we have 20 degrees. We have this side is 60. This is 50. And this is the side we want. So I'm just going to call that X. Okay. Uh, so if we go through our different rules, we can't use Pythagoras because there's no right angle. We can't use sine, cos, or tan. Again, it's not right angled. Now we could use the sine rule, but we're not going to do it in this case because in this case we want the length. We don't want the sine rule to only be useful if we want another angle, which we don't want. So we're left with the cosine rule to use. Okay, so I'll write it out. I'll say a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cause of a okay so i'm going to rewrite that we're going to have x squared so i'm going to say a is x uh, is equal to 50 squared plus 60 squared minus 2 by 50 multiplied by 60 multiplied by cause of 20. it's basically going to stick all of that into a calculator and that's going to tell us that x squared is equal to, so x squared is going to be equal to 461.84. Uh, and that means x is going to be the square root of that. And it's going to be 21.49 meters. Okay, so I'm going to box that off. So that means we have this done. And it's going to be the exact same as hg there. Because you can see it's the same numbers and the same angle. So that's... Um, so that's two fifths of it done, so we're almost done the entire problem. So now we need this bit, this bit, and this bit. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this triangle ADC. Okay. So this big right angle triangle, uh, and I'm going to go down and write that here. So we're going to look at the triangle ADC. Okay. Uh, and with more practice, like you can go through each individual triangle until you find one. With more practice, hopefully you'll be able to see straight away. Um, which triangle is going to give you the answer. But again, it doesn't matter if you go through a few wrong ones first, as long as you go through the checklist, eventually you'll come across the right answer. So we're going to go straight for, sorry, ADC, like I said. So um, read this one here. A little bit longer, like this, okay? So we have 20 degrees here. We're going to ignore that little uh, bit here because it doesn't actually make a difference for the rest of the triangle. This is going to be 120 because it's going to be 60 plus 60 and we're actually going to forget about that 50 for now okay because it doesn't do much good if we don't know the whole thing so i'm going to call this just h and again like we said that's a right angle okay so we go through the rules can we use pythagoras no but we can use sine cos and tan so i'll go in purple which one we're going to use we're going to use tan because we have an angle we have opposite and adjacent so i'm going to say that tan of 20 is equal to the opposite, which is h, over the adjacent, which is 120. 
So that means if we multiply both sides by 120, then h is going to be 120 multiplied by tan of 20. We're going to stick that into a calculator, and we're going to find that h is equal to um, 43.67. Okay, I'm going to draw a box around that. And then also, uh, I'll go in green, no, I'll go bright blue, why not? I'm gonna call this X, no, um, A. We already used X, so I don't use X again. Um, it's bad to do that. Okay, so next one we're gonna say, so we have 20 degrees here, we have H and we have 120. So which one are we gonna use? So the, there's a little lesson here, you're not supposed to use sine. So you're not supposed to say tw uh, sine of 20 is equal to H over a and the reason being is because we already calculated h okay so say if we'd made a mistake in calculating h then we're going to make another mistake in calculating a so what we should use is cos because that means we use the 120 that was given to us in the question and it means we're less likely to bring a mistake onwards so always try to use what was given to you in the question beforehand so anyway i'm going to say sine of 20 is going to be no sorry that's exactly what i said we weren't going to do so i'm going to say cos of 20, sorry about that, cos of 20 is going to be equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, so it's going to be 120 over a, um, so I'm going to multiply everything by a, we're going to get a multiplied by cos of 20 is equal to 120, scroll down a little bit, then we're going to get a is equal to 120 divided by cos of 20, if we divide across by cos of 20, okay? Uh, stick that into our calculator as well, and we're gonna get 127.7 as our answer, okay? So just be careful, because we already have this 50 here, and again, it's gonna be the same for this 50 here. So that bit there isn't 127, but, uh, sorry, isn't 100, uh, yeah, sorry, isn't 127, but it's, uh, 127 minus 50, because this whole thing is 127. This bit's 50, so that bit is gonna be uh, whatever that sum is, okay? So I'm actually just gonna put a little box around this, and now the only thing left to do is to add all of those things together, okay? So I'm just gonna do that in, what color will I go? Red on the side here. And I'm just gonna draw this whole thing out once more. Okay, so just quickly, but just so we don't forget any of the sides, okay? So we're gonna have, uh, on the bottom it's gonna be 60 plus 60 plus 60 plus 60. So I'm gonna say four times 60, okay? Plus, then we're gonna have two times this, this side here, uh, and that's gonna be two times 21.49, because that was the uh, number we got for the length of those ones, okay? It's gonna be plus 43.67, so that's gonna be the height of the middle column there, uh, plus 43.67, and then also gonna be plus two of these big long ones here on the side, which is gonna be two times 127.7, two times 127.7, Okay, stick that again all into your calculator. Uh, I'll do the final answer in yellow. And the final answer is going to be 582.05, okay? And again, that depends uh, what you decide to round it off to, but uh, we rounded it off to uh, 0 0.05. Um, yeah, that's basically the question done. So again, hopefully you saw that uh, it's a little bit quicker than if you can, if you can spot uh, straight away what triangles are going to give you the the right answer then try and jump straight into those instead of going through each one individually but again each simple sum was just either like this one was cosine rule this one was tan this one was cos and then it's just about adding them together so overall the questions aren't hard it's just about picking out the easy bits from an overall tough question so we're going to have uh, another example later uh, in the next video it's going to do loads of examples uh, like this anyway so i hope that made sense and uh, yeah good luck